My name is Ashley. And my name is Laura. And we are super excited to have some fun with you guys today. So do you guys like board games and card games? Those are some of our favorite things because as math people, um, there's a lot of problem solving involved in both math and board and card games. Um, one of the most famous board games, Monopoly, was actually invented and designed by Elizabeth Maggie, a woman board game designer. So the game we're going to play today is called Crypto. Um, the number of people needed for this activity is just you. Um, unless you like a little bit of a competition, then you can't play with other people. Um, materials that you will need is a piece of scratch paper, a pencil, a deck of cards without the face cards. And don't worry if you don't have a deck of cards, we will show our cards and you can still learn and play along with the cards we have here and a calculator if you need it. Um, the previous knowledge that you will need to play this game is you do need to be able to add, subtract, multiply, and divide numbers to be able to play. Okay, so to start off, the first thing you want to do is you want to remove all of those pesky face cards. Okay, so any jacks, queens, kings, or jokers that might be in your set, remove those out of your deck. You only want the number cards, okay? So the second step, you're gonna deal five cards to each player, okay? So if you're playing just by yourself, you'll have five cards. If you're playing with two or more people, everyone will have five cards of their own, okay? And then in the middle or just by itself, you're gonna put one card face up, okay? That one card is called your target card. And so using your five cards, okay? You wanna use addition, subtraction, multiplication, and or division to get those five cards you want to try to get all of those numbers to your target number okay so the card that was your target number the one that's all by itself is your target number so for one example if you have the numbers three seven four six and nine where the cards you were dealt and then your target card is a 10 one solution you could do is you could do six plus four is equal to ten Okay, so all the red numbers in this solution were cards that we have. And then the last blue one is our target number. Anything that's black is a sum or difference or product or quotient that we got going through. Okay, so six plus four was 10. So now we have 10 and we wanted to try to subtract nine. 10 minus nine gives us one. And then one times seven is seven. And then that last seven we have, we're gonna add our last card, which is the three, which will give us 10. And so that's our target card, okay? So now we're ready to go play. We're gonna do a couple examples with you. We'll do a couple of examples. Where we'll give you cards in case you guys don't have your own deck at home, okay? And so we'll show you some cards. That'll be more towards the end, okay? And then remember, if you're competing with others, you wanna try to make the target number with your cards before they do. Okay, so our first example, okay, I'm going to show you. So first thing, I have my deck of cards. I'm going to deal myself five cards. And I'm going to take one and make that my target card. So this is my target card. I have the ace of spades. Okay, so an ace is one. Okay. And then my cards, I picked these five cards. So I have a two, a three, a five, a six, and a three. And I want to try to take those numbers and I want to try to add, subtract, multiply, and divide and end up with just one left. Okay. So give me a minute. Let me look through these. Okay. Let's see. So I know six minus five, I know is one. And I know three minus two is one. So. Something I might do is I might do six minus five is equal to one plus three is four. Okay. <laughs> four. Hmm. Okay, so that didn't work. So I got four minus two would give me two, but then two minus three is negative one. And I don't want a negative one, I want a positive one, okay? So I'm gonna try again. And let's see. 
Okay, let's see. How about I got five plus two gives me seven. Okay. Minus six is one. Okay, so I'm at my one, but I still have two cards left. So I have to make sure I use these as well. Okay. One plus three is four. And then four minus three is my last card, gives me one. And so that is an example of how we would do that thing. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and play a game together, okay? But first, before we do, we wanna teach you some different strategies that um, you can do when thinking. So you notice Laura, when she was going through, you know, she kind of did some guessing and checking. It doesn't always work. You're gonna try, you might fail, you're gonna have to try again. Um, but there are some things you can do so you're not just guessing and checking the whole time. So a quick test you can do to start is out of the five cards you get and then look at your target card. If the sum of all of your five cards, the number you got when you added them all together, if um, one of the, if your sum is even um, and your target card is odd or your target card is even and your sum is odd, if they're different, one's even, one's odd, then you're not going to be able to just use addition or subtraction in your solution. You'll need to incorporate multiplication and or division also. But if your sum and the target card are both even or they're both odd, then you will most likely be able to just use addition and subtraction in your solution. So that's really helpful if you notice they're both even or both odd. You don't have to also try to think of multiplication and division. So if you think of my one that I just did, I only used addition and subtraction, right? Because I had three plus three is six, plus five is 11, plus six is 17, plus two is 19. So 19 is odd. And my target card is one, which is also odd. So because they were both odd, I was able to do it all with just addition and subtraction. And some of the other strategies um, is if one of your target card or if one of the cards in your deck is the same exact number as the target card, there's some two strategies that work really well. So um, let's say the target card is five and I have a five in my deck. Then my other four cards, I can try to get them to zero. And we call this the zero strategy because we're trying to get all those four to zero. And then we can just add the five we had and we'll get the five that's the target number. So the zero strategy is get your other four to zero and then add your card that matches the target card. Um, if one of your cards like that five is matched to the target card, you could also do the one strategy. And that's try, getting to the, try to get the four other cards to equal a one. And then you can multiply your um, five, let's say, because one times five would get you five, which is that target um, number. So zero strategy, get them all to zero and add that number that matches the target card or the one strategy, get your four cards to a one and multiply your card that matches the target card. So those are just some strategies you can use going into the game. So now we are going to play around with you guys. So if you have your deck at home, um, go ahead and deal yourself five cards and your one target card. If you don't, you can use um, our decks. We'll show you what we have and you can write them down to play along with us. Even if you have cards, but you want to use our cards so you know you can hear our solutions and make sure you know see what the solution was if you couldn't figure it out or to confirm, um, you can use our cards as well. Okay, so I already dealt out five cards. I have five, Ashley has five, and this is our target card, okay? So our target card is going to be three, okay? So we both want to try to get our decks to three. And if you are playing at home, you wanna to try to get your deck to three. Okay, Ashley's gonna show you her deck. So this is my deck. So if you wanna play along with us, go ahead and write these numbers down so you have them as reference because we'll probably put them on the table and then you can um, try to use these two. So we have a seven, a 10, a two, an ace, which remember is a one and a three. So take a second, you can pause the video too, go ahead and write those down so that you can play with these if you'd like. And then mine, if you wanna try mine, I have a six, a four, a five, a nine and a two, okay? So go ahead, we're all just gonna take a minute. Um, if you're playing with us, you could try to beat us too, see how fast you can be um, and try to get that target number. So let's go.
Do you have any strategies in mind? So if you're playing along with me, you may have noticed, and if you haven't yet, and you really just want to take the time um, to try it on your own first, and you want to play with my deck of cards, you know, pause the video, take your time. But if you're almost done, and you just kind of want to hear my thought process. Um, remember, this was my deck of cards. And remember what our target number was. It's a three. So what was that strategy we just taught you guys? Our target number is a three. And what do I have in my deck? Over here, we have a three. So we can use either the zero strategy or the one strategy because I have a card in my deck that matches this one. So now I was thinking of trying to take my other four and making a zero or a one. What about you, Laura? So I noticed that I have 10, 15, 16, 17, 26. So I have an even number that my cards all add up to an even number. But my target card is odd. So I'm thinking I'm going to probably have to do some type of either multiplication or division. I think I got mine. Oh man. <laughs> I think I do too. You all go first. All right. So again, like I always say, just keep pausing it if you want, but we're going to reveal ours so you can um, see if you got it right or if you were struggling, you can have our, our helpful hints. So like I said, I was trying to get to a zero or one since I have that three. And what I noticed is I had a 10 and a seven, which when I minus 10 and seven, I get three. Now, I also have a two and a one, which when added together, make a three. So I have 10 minus seven, which got me three. Then I could minus two and minus one, which would get me zero. So I was able to get my other four cards to be a zero, 10 minus seven minus two minus one. You could have done that in any order. And now that I have zero, I can just add three and to get the target card, three. Very nice. So mine, I know I was gonna have to do some type of multiplication and division. So what I did, I took my six and my four, and I multiplied those together. That gives me 24, okay? So my thought process was, using this three, what are numbers that are divisible by three? So like I said, I got 24, which is divisible by three, but that gives me, oh wait, no, sorry. So that's not helpful because that would give me a three. I would need an eight, which I don't have, but I do have a nine, okay? So 24 plus five gives me 29, okay? But I would need 27 to divide by nine. So 29 minus two gives me 27. 27 divided by nine gives me three. So I hope you guys had fun playing this game. If you played along with us, um, hopefully you were able to get it on your own. If not, then hopefully our thought process has helped you and maybe now you can um, find a deck of cards or um, you know write a couple numbers down and see if you're able to get your numbers to a target number. If you played alone, I hope you got it and you're not still trying to figure it out, maybe ask ask a friend, ask some people if you're still trying to figure yeah. it out because it's super fun. And having the competition part is super fun and um, that's just, it can be fun. Yep. <laughs> Have a good rest of science week. Bye. Thank you so much for watching. Please follow us on social media to find more about